everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to do a uh, walk around video today of the, uh, the FJ Cruiser. Kind of show you what we've done to it and uh, kind of thoughts of where uh, we think we want to take it here in the future. A little bit about this truck. It's a 1978 FJ Cruiser. Um, I happened to find it in Oxford. It's uh, It's been restored somewhat um, and it, it has a V8 in it. Uh, I'll show you that so it's not completely original. Um, but for the most part, it's it's pretty original. I no longer own this uh, this vehicle. Um, I sold it to my brother, um, so it's still in the family. Uh, sold this to buy the JK, which you've seen. Um, JK is a little bit more family friendly, uh, loading the kids up uh, to go ride. So um, again, still in the family. Uh, didn't go far. Um, I owned it for close to a year. Did quite a few mods to it. And I'll walk around and show you those and. Uh, pass it off to my brother uh, to show you what he's done since he's owned it. All right, when I bought it, um, the it had the four plus bumper on the front and rear. It had some, some Goodyear mud tires on it, 12 and a halfs. If you'll notice from some previous videos, I, I like the, uh, the skinnier tire uh, on these trucks, so I have changed those. I'll talk more about these. Um, added some lights and done a little bit on the interior, but pretty much everything else it, as is uh, the day I found it uh, at a dealership. It has it had the 4 plus bumper on here. Um, I've added these lights. Um, just again, the uh, some cheapo Amazon lights here pointed to the side to kind of give you a, a, a side view there, of ditch or whatever it is you're going to. These rigid lights, uh, similar to the ones on the JK, uh, extremely bright, throw a great beam really down uh, down the road. The headlights uh, were upgraded. Uh, these are some truck light LED headlights. Uh, fantastic headlight, very bright. Really these these are enough, but these add uh, a ton more light uh, when you're on a back road late at night. All right, it came with uh, some worn locking hubs um, on it. And again, it came with some Goodyear uh, 33 by 12 and a half mud tires. Um, good tire, again, I just, I prefer the taller skinny. Uh, so I went with the TSL 34 by 950 uh, swampers. A little, little noisy on the road, not terrible, uh, but, but when you're off-road, these things really really grab a hold and go. Moving to the back, again, a 4 plus bumper with a dual, dual swing arm here. Opens up like so. Um, <clears throat> very nice bumper. Uh, again, takes all the weight. Keeps it on the frame and off of the, off of the truck. So we've got a full-size spare here. Um, I believe you're able to put a 45 quart cooler on this side, or if not a cooler, other type gear. Rigged up uh, a way to mount the high lift jack on here, as well as the roto packs. The roof rack came on it. Um, it's uh, it's nice to allow you to put a, a canoe or some kind of kayak on there uh, down the road. I think maybe looking to put some kind of flooring in it so that you can put boxes or other gear in there and they not sit on the roof. With this big tire and all this back here, again, it can be kind of hard to see with, uh, with the original reverse lights in here. So I did add an LED little bar there up underneath the cooler. All right, moving to the inside. For the most part, what you see is the way it was when I found it. Original, original cluster here. Uh, the Tuffy security box was here. Um, I have added a radio in here. Again, this box is nice. To allow you to put the radio in here and lock it um, if the top were off or there's inclement weather or something. Um, as far as speakers, uh, put put two of them, one on either side under the seat, um, and two in the back. So I added that. Um, enjoy having some some music while you're riding down the road. The heat does work. Um, it's not great, uh, but it does blow something. Um, there is no air in here, uh, so summer months it can get it can get pretty warm. Um, I did add this little uh, switch panel here um, for the lights front and rear uh, as well as there's no dome light in here so I've added a little dome light here in the back. Looking down the road uh, to, to change this out to an S-Pod um, similar to what we got in the JK to take all that, all that power off the battery, put it into that fuse panel of the S-Pod um, uh, and, and have a nicer wiring system than what we got now. Another neat thing about these trucks, they got the little kick plate here. Kick that open, get a little extra air as well. 
in the in the summer months to help help keep you cool. So um, again, it, it it does have a V8 Chevrolet in it, uh, so it's not not bone stock. Um, it's uh, it's it's an automatic. Um, I believe it used to be a manual, um, but when when they changed the the engine uh, prior to me, put a V8 in it with an automatic transmission. The, the engine has been replaced. Um, I don't know when um, and or why, uh, but it does have a Chevy V8 in it. Um, it's got, got plenty of power. Um, sounds great as well. Some, some minor things I've had to do to it since owning it. Uh, of course, replaced or flushed all the fluids um, and it had a small uh, power steering leak. Uh, gotten that fixed, but um, engine seems to be solid uh, since we've had it um, and, and runs great. Had to replace the battery again uh, down the road or here soon. Going to put that put an S pod in it to take all this all these wires off the battery. Uh, looking to mount it right here. Um, so have have a separate fuse panel here for the S pod. So I'm usually behind the camera, but I was the fortunate one to acquire this when he decided to sell it. He's done really all the work. All I've done is added this worn VR8 winch which we've used once just to prove it worked and it did really think it looks good on this bumper the next thing we have planned is this s pod so we're going to install it clean up the electrical work under the hood and hopefully get a video out showing the installation of this so that you can see that as well um, so look for that in the future look for more videos as we put all these vehicles out on the trail and really get out there and explore. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like it if, uh, if you like this video and uh, subscribe for some more videos to come. Thank you.